from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering IBM Think. Brought to you by IBM. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of IBM Think 2020, the digital experience. Happy to welcome to the program Dinesh Nirmal, who's the Chief Product Officer for CloudPax inside IBM. Uh, Dinesh, uh, nice to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Stu. Really appreciate you taking the time. All right, so uh, I've been to many IBM shows, and of course, I'm an analyst in the cloud space, so I'm familiar with IBM cloud packs, but maybe you know, just refresh our audience minds here, what they are, how long have they been around for, you know, what clouds do they live on, and maybe what's, what's new in 2020 that if somebody had looked at this uh, you know, in, in the past that they might not uh, know about IBM cloud pack. Yeah, so thanks to, so to start with, let me say that cloud packs are cloud agnostic. So the whole goal is that you build once and it can run anywhere. That is the basic mantra or principle that we want to build cloud packs with. So they are, look at them as a set of microservices containerized in a form that it can run on any public cloud or behind the firewall. So that's the whole premise of cloud packs. So when you go back to cloud packs, it's an integrator set of services that solve a specific set of business problems and also accelerates building rich set of applications and solutions. That's what cloud packs brings. So, you know, especially in this environment, to think about it, you know, if I'm an enterprise, my goal is how can I accelerate and how can I automate? Those are the two key things, you know, that comes to my mind if I am a C-level exec at an enterprise. So cloud packs enables that, meaning you already have a set of uh, stitched together services that accelerates the application development. It automates a lot of things for you. So you today have a lot of applications running on multiple clouds or behind the firewall. How do you manage those, right? Cloud packs will help. So I'll, let me give you one example since you are specifically on cloud packs. Let's take cloud pack for data. The set of services that is available in cloud pack for data will make it easier for all the way from ingest to visualization. There's a set of services that you can use. So you don't have to go you know, build a service or a product or use a product for ingest then use another product for ETL, use another product for building models, another product to manage those models. The Cloud Pack for Data will solve all the problems end to end. It's a rich set of services that will give you all the value that you need all the way from ingest to visualization. And with any personas, you know, whether you are a data engineer, data scientist, or you are a you know, business analyst, you all can collaborate through the cloud packs. So that's the you know uh, two minute answer to your question. What cloud packs does? Awesome. Th thanks, Dinesh. Yeah, I, I guess you, you pointed out something right at the beginning there. I hear IBM Cloud Pack, and I think IBM Cloud. But you said specifically this is really cloud agnostic. So uh, you know, this week is Think. Last week uh, I was covering Red Hat Summit, so I heard a lot about multi cloud deployments. You know, talk to the Rel team, talk to the OpenShift team. Um, so help me understand, you know, where do cloud pack fit uh, when we're talking about, you know, these multi-cloud employments, uh, you know, and is there some connection uh, with the, the partnership that of course IBM has with Red Hat? Oh, of course. I mean, so all cloud packs are optimized for OpenShift, meaning, you know, how do we use the set of services that OpenShift gives, the container management that OpenShift provides. So as we build containers or microservices, how do we make sure that we are optimizing or taking advantage of OpenShift? So for example, the set of services like logging, monitoring, security, all those services metering that comes from OpenShift is what we are using as cloud packs. So cloud packs are optimized for OpenShift. Um, you know, from an automation perspective, how do we use Ansible, right? So all the value that Red Hat and OpenShift brings is what cloud pack is built on. So if you look at as a layer, as a Lego, the base Lego is OpenShift and RHEL, and then on top of it sit cloud packs and applications and solutions on top of it. So it's if I look at layer base, the base Lego layer is OpenShift and Red Hat RHEL. 
Well, great. That, that's that's super important uh, because you know one of the things we've been looking at for a while is you talk about hybrid cloud, you talk about multi cloud, and often it's that that platform, that infrastructure discussion. But the biggest challenge for companies today is you know how do I build new applications? How do I modernize what I have? So sounds like this is exactly you know where you're targeting uh, to to help people yeah. uh, you know through the, through that uh, that transformation that they're going through. Yeah, exactly, Stu, because if you look at it, you know, in the past, products were siloed. I mean, you know, you build a product, you use a set of specs to build it. It was, it was siloed, and customers become the software integrators or system integrators where they have to take the different products, put it together. So even if I am, you know, focused on the data space or AI space, before I had to bring in three or four or five different products, make it all work together to build the model, deploy the model, manage the model, the life cycle of the model, the life cycle of the data. But the cloud packs bring it all in one box. We're out of the box, you're ready to go. So your time to value is much more higher with cloud packs because you already get a set of stitched together services that gets working right out of the box. So I, I love the idea of out of the box. When I think of cloud native, modern, modern application development, simplicity is not the first thing I think of, Dinesh. So help me understand, you know, so many customers, it's, you know, the tools, the skill sets, you know, they don't necessarily have the experience. How is what, you know, your product set and your team's doing help customers deal uh, with, you know, the ever-changing landscape and the complexity uh, that they're faced with? Yeah, so the, the, Honest truth, Stu, is that enterprise applications are not an app that you create and put it on iPhone, right? I mean, it, it, it is much more complex because it's dealing with, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of people trying to transact with the system. You need to make sure there is a disaster recovery, backup, scalability, elasticity. I mean, all those things, security, I mean, obviously very critical piece and multi-tenancy, all those things has to come together in an enterprise application. So when people talk about you know, simplicity, it comes at a price. So what CloudPax has done is that you know, we have really focused on the user experience and design piece. So you as an end user has a great experience using the integrated set of services. The complexity piece will still be there to some extent because you're building a very complex uh, you know, multi-tenant application, enterprise application. But how do we make it easier for a developer or a data scientist to collaborate or reuse the assets, find the data much more easier or trusted data much more easier than before? Use AI, you know, to predict a lot of the things, including, you know, bias detection, all those things. So we are making a lot of the development automation and acceleration easier. The complexity part will be there still because you know, enterprise applications tend to be complex by nature, but we are making it much more easier for you to develop, deploy, manage, and govern what you're building. Yeah, so, so how does Cloud Packs allow you to really you know, work with the customers, focus on you know, things like innovation, showing them the latest, uh, in the IBM software portfolio? Yeah, so uh, uh, the first piece is that we made it much more easier for the different personas to collaborate. So in the past, you know, what is the biggest challenge me as a data scientist had? Me as a data scientist, the biggest challenge was that getting access to the data, trusted data. Now, you know, we have put some governance around it whereby which you can get you know, data, trusted data, much more easier using Cloud Pack for data. Uh, governance around the data, meaning if you have a CDO, you want to see who, who is using the data, how clean is the data, right? I mean, a lot of times the data might not be clean. So we want to make sure we can, we can help with that. Now, let me move into the, you know, the line of business piece, not just the data. If I am you know, a, a LOB and I want to use automate a lot of the process I have in today in my enterprise and not go through the, uh, the every process uh, automation and go through your superior or supervisor to get approval, how do we use AI in the business process automation also? So those kind of things you will get through CloudPaths. 
Now, the other piece of cloud fact, if I am an IT space, right? The day two operations, scalability, security, delivery of the software, backup and restore, how do we automate and help with that? The storage layer, those are day two operations. So we are taking it all the way from day one, meaning the whole experience of setting it up to day two, where enterprises really worry about, making it seamless and easy using cloud packs. I go back to what I said in the beginning, which is how do we accelerate and automate a lot of the work that enterprise have to do today much more easier. Okay, uh, we, we, we talked earlier in the discussion about that this can be used across multiple cloud environments. Um, my understanding, you, you mentioned one of the IBM cloud packs, one for data, there's a number of different cloud packs out there. How does that work yeah. from a customer standpoint? Do I have to choose a cloud pack for a specific cloud? Does it, is it a license that goes across all of my environments? Help me understand uh, right. how this deployment mechanism and, and, and support and maintenance works. Right, so we have um, the base, obviously I said, you know, look at it as a, a modular Lego model. The base is obviously OpenShift and RHEL. On top of itself sits a bedrock we call, which is a common set of services uh, and the logic to expand. On top of it sits Cloud Pack for data, Cloud Pack for security, Cloud Pack for applications. Uh, there's Cloud Pack for multi-cloud management. There's Cloud Pack for integration. So there's a total of six Cloud Packs that's available, but you can pick and choose which Cloud Pack you want. So let's say you are, you are a CDO or you are an enterprise who want to focus on data and AI, you can just pick Cloud Pack for data. Or let's say you are a, a, a Cloud Pack you know, uh, based on processes, BPM, decision rules, you can go with Cloud Pack for automation, which gives you the set of tools. But the biggest benefits too is that all these cloud packs are a set of integrated services that can all work together, sits optimized on top of OpenShift. So all of a sudden, you only bought cloud pack for data, and now you want to do data, but now you want to expand it into your line of business and you want cloud pack for automation, you can bring that in. Now those two cloud packs work together well. Now you want to bring in cloud pack for multi-cloud management because you have data or applications running on multiple clouds. So now you can build, bring Cloud Pack for MCM, which is multi-cloud management, and those three work together. So it's all a set of integrated set of services that is optimized on top of OpenShift, which makes it much more easier for customers to bring the rich set of services together and accelerate and automate their lifecycle journey within the enterprise. Great, uh, last question for you, Dinesh. Uh, you know, what, what new in 2020, what, what should customers be looking at today? Uh, would love if you can give a little bit of guidance as to where customers should be looking at uh, for uh, things that might be coming uh, a little bit down the, the line here. And if they want to learn more about IBM Cloudbacks, uh, where should they be looking? Yeah, if they want to learn more, there's you know www.ibm.com slash cloudpacks. That's a place to go. There, all the details around cloudpacks are there. You can also get in touch with me, and um, I can definitely take you through in much more detail. But what is coming is that look. So we have a set of cloudpacks, but we want to expand uh, and make it extensible. So how do we? You know, already it's built on an open platform. But how do we make sure our partners and ISVs can come and build on top of the base cloud pack? So that's the focus going to be. As each cloud pack innovate and add more value in within those cloud packs, we also want to expand it so that you know um, our partners and our ISVs and GSIs can build on top of it. So this year, the focus is continuously innovate across the cloud packs, but also make it much more extensible for third parties to come and build more value on top of the cloud pack itself. That's the, you know, that's one area we are focusing on. The other area is MCM, right? Multi-cloud management, because there is tremendous appetite for uh, customers to move data or applications on cloud, and not only on one cloud, hybrid cloud. So how do you manage that, right? So multi-cloud management definitely helps from that perspective. So our focus this year is going to be one, make it extensible, make it more open, but at the same time, continuously innovate on every single cloud pack to make that journey for customers on automating and accelerating uh, of application development easier. 
All right. Well, Dinesh, thank you so much. Yeah, the, the things that you talked about that absolutely, you know, top of mind for customers that we talked to, multi-cloud management, as you said, it was the ACM, the advanced cl uh, cluster management uh, that we heard about from the Red Hat team last week at, at Summit. So uh, thank you so much for the updates. Uh, definitely uh, exciting to watch Cloud Pack, how you're helping customers, uh, you know, deal with that, that, that huge, it's the opportunity, but also the challenge of, building their next applications, modernizing what they're doing without uh, you know, still having to think about what they, they have uh, from their existing environment. So thanks so much, great to talk to you. No, well, thanks too, great talking. All right, lots more coverage from IBM Think 2020, the digital experience. I'm Stu Miniman and as always, thank you for watching theCUBE.